Oh yeah, this is the first video I've done without my hair. This is a Kyosho. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's an old school vintage car. Walking to flea market, which I love to do. My dad, I came across this guy. This thing is cool as hell. It's old, it's loud. This thing is just raw. It's so much fun. After G-Max, surprise, surprise, still not painted. This kind of gave me a, I don't even know what you would call it, just a real desire to get something quicker that was more purpose-built. And that's exactly what this is. Not a lot of bells and whistles. Not a whole lot of frills and anything like that. Cool old truck, independent suspension, rear-wheel drive. It's got a little brushed motor on it. It's had nothing amazing, but it's just, it's been a good working truck. I got it, it was in pretty rough shape. Dude got it to go forward and back. And that was about it. Like the batteries were so tired. They were done. Yeah, that, those batteries are cached. A lot of trial and error with this one and got it restored. I've had a lot of fun with it, but I'm pretty much done with it. I'm grateful that I was able to give it some more life. I replaced some things on it, but I kept the heart of the car intact. I changed the tires. Those tires were just bald. This thing would slip and slide, which is kind of fun anyway. Kept the same motor ESC combo that was on here, which is LRP electronics with pretty decent stuff. In its day, I had to change to lipo battery and I was worried about the ESC not being able to handle it, but I haven't had a single issue. This thing screams. Did change the radio. So I used the radio from one of the old Red Cats. I don't even that old. I've only had them for a few months. But anyways, use the radio from the Red Cat because the old one is, ooh, that thing is old school. Put a more updated servo in it because the servo that it had, man, it couldn't even turn these wheels. I'm pretty much done with it, man. Cleaned up the body. I've gotten it dirty again, but you know, restored it without altering its integrity in my opinion. And now I'm just gonna clean it up and pass it on. I don't have too much in it, so I'm just gonna try to see how much of my money I can recoup. I don't think they're worth thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars or anything. It's just, it's cool. I have had posted some pictures and had somebody comment about that was their first hobby grade. Now they wish they could have another one. I'm like, hey, you know what? Make me the right offer and bring that wish to fruition. But I didn't hear anything back from them. So the only thing I'm going to do with it is clean it up. But that's it, man. So I'm not going to bore you with all those details because apparently a lot of people don't like to watch that kind of stuff. So I'll just finish it up. Today is finish it up Friday for me. And on to a new home. Check it out. All right, so here she is in all her glory, clean. Had to do a little patchwork right there, but I don't know where I found the zip tie, but hey, it'll do the trick. And the guts, and the internals. Yeah, the back's got heavier oil, definitely than the front. Time for somebody else to, to enjoy it. I've learned a good bit with it. I've had some fun with it. Will it go on to be a shelf queen, maybe? I think it's definitely a good candidate for one. But she'll, she'll handle dirt, mud, road grass off-road it don't even matter like it's just a fun little would this be a truggy i don't know but yeah that's the finished product man somebody will be able to have some fun with it i hope but that's it team kyosho vintage old school whatever is out